What's up guys, Dennis Films here with another tutorial and today we're going over five music video effects that I personally use in a majority of my projects. Now they're pretty simple effects but they do carry a lot of weight in my opinion. That's why I choose to use them. So anybody can learn these. It doesn't matter what skill level you're at. But before we get into it, let's cue that intro real quick. Okay guys, now that we're in the computer, I'm going to show you my first effect that I really like using, which is a scale in, scale in transform. So what you're going to do is, let me get all this out, you're going to go to your effects panel, type in transform, you're, it's under dis, distort, you're going to drag it to your first clip that you want to use. So since I'm not using music for this, because I just don't want to deal with any copyright issues or anything like that. I'm gonna set a marker and that's where the beat's gonna hit, say a hi-hat or something like that. So the marker is gonna resemble the beat um, when it actually hits. So what I wanna do, and this is what I normally do in music videos, is we're at the beat, I go two keyframes back, and go to your effects panel, and then you're gonna have the keyframe. So what you wanna keyframe is position, scale, rotation, opacity, um, the composition shutter angle, you're gonna check, uncheck that. Then you're gonna go to shutter angle. Sorry about that noise. Air conditioning just popped on. So then you're gonna go to your actual beat where it hits, and then you're just gonna scale in as far as you want, as much as you want, reposition it, recompose the shot. There we go. And then you're gonna go to your shutter angle and you're gonna max it out to 360. So after you do that, you're gonna go two keyframes over again, and then you're gonna reset everything back. And it's gonna be quick, but it's good for top, top hats. I like using, I mean not top hats. It's, it's good for high hats. I like using it back to back. Um, normally not just, you know, one and then done. Uh, back to back makes it really cool. So let's play that back. As you can see, it's really quick. And what it's doing is it's creating that shutter that your camera would create in camera if say you move something that quick but of course it's artificial so it that's the reason why i like it so much is just because of that shutter effect it can be multiple ways you can use this you can get so creative with um, this effect but you know you can also go into your effects panel if you have another beat coming up close that you want to do and you want to use that same effect just copy it and then move to that beat that you have and then paste it and then boom well of course you're going to paste it a little bit further away but this is just so let's move on to the next clip now that was that was very simple these are all going to be pretty simple but very useful so another thing i like to do is say that there's multiple um hits back to back my favorite thing to do is you copy this this is i guess you could call this a scale out because you're going to scale multiple times out so let's set our beat with markers. I'm just gonna place random markers to where maybe the beat would be. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit Alt button on your computer, click onto the clip, and then drag it up. And you're gonna do that two more times. So what we're doing is I'm gonna go to the first one, let's drag all the drag these two back. Each one well each part of the beat will have its own section. So for the top one, the, the very top one will be the last hit. And for the second one will be the second hit. So let's do that, play through, can't tell no difference. What we're gonna do is, let's go to the second clip and you're gonna scale down. So that looks pretty good. And then the next clip, you're gonna do the same, but you're gonna scale even lower from the second one. So what this does, I really don't know what to call this effect. It's pretty simple, but um, there we go. It can be used in a lot of different ways. You can get more technical with it. You can go to your effects panel, go to feather or type in feather. There you go and drag edge feather on both your clips of the, the uh, from the original one. And you're gonna go to a mount and you're just going to choose how much you want so you can blend it in if that's what you want to do 
there we go and it's kind of blended in where you can't there's not that hard line or the hard edge in the clip so it looks a little bit cleaner just depending on what you're doing but super simple anybody can do it I use this pretty often in music videos but like I said anybody can use this it doesn't matter what skill set you are in Premiere Pro yeah that looks good I like that so let's move on to the next one okay now for the third effect so the third effect is what I use 99% of the time in, in a majority of videos not just music videos weddings as well commercials things like that and um, it's very simple and takes hardly any time to do it's speed ramping and I'm sure a lot of you if you kind of been shooting music videos for a while or videos in general um, you've heard of this effect so it's super simple let's get right into it so we're gonna go to the end of the clip it doesn't really you can play with it you know different amount of frames you want to go back so let's say let's go mm, let's go four keyframes back you're gonna hit C on your keyboard to cut and then you're just gonna cut at the fourth frame before the transition you're gonna hit V to go back then you're gonna click on the clip that you cut and then you're gonna go to speed duration see this is shot at 24 frames per second so I'm gonna go 225 just because and then you're gonna scale it back well not scale it you're gonna drag it back to your original clip and what it's gonna do is it's gonna speed boom so effective I love this and then you can do the same for your other clip so it kind of transitions very well together and you can do this on beat so since this was shot and I want to say 120 I'm gonna go I'm just gonna do 350 I'm not gonna go five you're gonna move the clip back forward and then drag the clip back to meet the other clip so this is what it looks like boom such a clean and easy transition from one clip to the next and then you can get you know crazy with it if you want you can add an additive dissolve a little flash so go to your effects panel type in additive dissolve sorry I'm kind of getting ahead of myself uh, and then we're gonna drag it you're gonna zoom into your timeline you're gonna take that additive dissolve you can you know make it short you make it longer I prefer mine to be a quick flash then I dragged out cross dissolve flash so you're just gonna hit play boom that looks really good especially for transition and that's pretty much it you can just go throughout your entire music video and do it the one thing I gotta say if you're gonna use effects be kind of consistent don't overkill it in the music video but be consistent with the same effects but yep that's pretty much it for speed ramping and you can do this in so many ways it, it's just it's one of my favorite effects so moving on to the fourth effect the fourth effect is a scale and rotation and if you've ever seen my music video with Devin Taylor I did a lot of this in that music video so what you're gonna do is very simple you're gonna go to your effects panel click on your clip you're gonna keyframe position scale and rotation and then you're gonna go to the end of your clip or wherever you want it to end at so I'm gonna say right here yep that looks about right and then I'm gonna scale in and then I'm gonna do add a little rotation but be sure to look at you see where it, it's starting to take out the frame be sure to pay attention to that because that will show so you don't want that so just do it ro rotate it just a little bit about right there super simple and it's plain pretty dope don't have to do it in camera another easy effect that I use a lot and actually in this music video which I can't wait to release because it's one of my favorite I did this actual effect on this shot which is why I'm showing it to you with that clip so the last one okay guys for the fifth effect what we're gonna do is it's a little bit difficult compared to all the other effects we're doing but it's just as cool and I wouldn't say it's too difficult so for this last clip what we're going to do is we're immediately 
gonna duplicate it. So you're gonna hold Alt on your keyboard, or it might be Command on uh, Mac, and then you're gonna click on it and drag up so you have your duplicate. And what you're gonna do with your duplicate is you're gonna drag it back a little bit more, and then you're gonna scale in. Go ahead and scale in on that. So the part of the effect, let me drag it back some more. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your effects panel, you're gonna go to your opacity, take your pen tool out, and you don't have to be perfect on it. You're just gonna make a little rough outline. And if you don't know how to use a pen tool, you're probably just gonna have to go watch a tutorial on it. Once you get it, you get it. It's a little difficult in the beginning um, as far as figuring out how to work it, but I'll come out with a tutorial later on just for the pen tool because it isn't the easiest to work with. So now that we got our outline of the artist, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep frames. So first thing we're gonna do is mask feather, mask capacity, mask expansion. And let's see, yep, that's right. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna max out the feather. You don't have to max it out, but with this being so infinitely dark, then we're gonna want to. So then you're gonna take your position and you want to drag it to wherever you want and it's not really matter that looks good oh and then you're going to go to your original clip drag it back there we go so so it has something to work with and then you're going to go into your effects panel and type in cross dissolve and what we're going to do with that is we're going to put it on the original clip not so much longer not long you want it kind of short and let's see how this plays out. It's a pretty cool effect. You might have to do a little bit more to it. Let's see. And then you can just, we'll just turn it off. Let's see. There we go. And that's, that's basically it. You're gonna have these dark lines, but what I use this for is I transition from one clip to the next to the next. So it acts as like two transitions in one. So what you do is you would fade this off with a cross, cross this off too. And I just, just for show, you don't have to do this. I'm gonna duplicate the original layer again one more time just to kind of show you what it can do. I mean, I don't use this heavily, this effect, but I do use it. Um, I enjoy using it with certain types of sounds in a beat, kind of like where you get them sound effects of ghosting. Cause this is what this is kind of, is ghosting. You're just cutting out your talent and then adding a duplicate layer with a lower opacity. And then just so it blends together as one. And then you could add, let's say, let me take that, let me put this clip over the cross dissolve and then I'm gonna add an additive dissolve. So go to your effects panel, type in additive dis dissolve and it should pop up. And let's just see what this does. There we go, it makes it a little bit better. It's a little different. That is it for today, guys. I will see y'all on the next tutorial. I am have a set schedule of releasing every Thursday. So be on the lookout. I hope to hear from y'all. Please drop a comment, subscribe, like, if you enjoy this content that I keep producing. And that's it, guys. Have a great day and keep creating. Peace.